we are not going anywhere just yet because there is one more thing that we think you are going to want to see. Last year, we announced that a sequel to Dishonored was in development, marking a new chapter to the game of the year from Arcane Studios. We shared a few tidbits about the sequel, but for the most part, you could say we've been in stealth mode. Until now. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Dishonored 2 is going to be a very special game, one that lives up to its celebrated legacy and then goes way beyond. To tell you more, please join me in welcoming the creative director of Dishonored 2, Harvey Smith. Wow. Thanks, Pete. Hi, everybody. In Dishonored, you play a supernatural assassin in a steampunk city. The game blends combat, stealth, and mobility, giving you many different pathways and approaches. When the original Dishonored was released in 2012, you embraced the game and made it your own. You discovered moves and combinations of powers that we didn't even imagine. We were thrilled by your passion for Dishonored, and we were humbled by the success of the game, which won more than 100 Game of the Year awards. At last year's E3, we announced Dishonored 2. So tonight, here with all of you for the first time, we're going to show you the game. Welcome back to the Empire of the Isles, a rich Victorian-inspired fantasy world with a distinct style and an exotic cast of characters. For Dishonored 2, we wanted to explore a new location, Karnaka, the jewel of the south. Our approach to world creation is very layered. Our art and design teams work together to create a strong sense of place with a well-realized culture. It's based on the people living there, the work they do, the architecture, economy, the climate, even the food and songs. In order to bring Karnaka to life, we've created a custom game engine designed to support our signature art direction and level design. We wanted Dishonored 2 to resemble a painting in motion, so we've given considerable thought to our lighting and the way it plays across every surface. We've created custom tools to support the interruptible real-time narrative scenes necessary for a stealth simulation. And the same is true for our approach to audio, both in terms of atmospherics and stealth gameplay. All of these details make Karnaka more vivid thanks to our new technology, which we call the Void Engine. In crafting spaces for you to explore, we've got several creative goals. We want the environment to feel coherent and complete, plausible. Where do these characters live and how do they get to work? Is there a, vi a viable pathway that makes sense? Where do they take their breaks or stop for lunch? But it goes further than that. For Dishonored 2, we felt compelled to ask ourselves about the history of a given street or shop. What was there a decade before the player arrives in Karnaka? Often, you can see the layers of history, watermarks on the wall from past floods, peeling posters and advertisements from years ago. We want every market, every alley to tell a story and offer you the chance to see something novel or intriguing. Dishonored 2 starts and ends in Dunwall, but most of the action takes place here in Karnaka. All right, there you go, your first look at Dishonored 2. Thank you.